Okay, next up, we have Junior High Band. Junior High Band is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, we do only have one piece prepared, and I would like to play the, the basketball team for that because, I mean, they extended the season out to the maximum that that band season could be ex extended out. So it's all their fault for being state champion. Please give them a that Super great and super appreciated um, um, administration extending the band all three days down to say being able to play and the pinnacle, being able to play in the Bob and Danny Sports Center is really a really neat and special thing um, um, that not everybody gets a chance to do. So that's really great. And besides that, then we had a bunch of Fridays off, then we had a bunch of Monday snow days off. And then we have track meets on Monday, so we were really, for instance, like the last three weeks, I think we've had three weeks, we've had like three rehearsals. Like, it's been really tight to try and get anything done. So we do only have the Knights of Destiny um, um, prepared, but this is a very difficult piece, and really they put it together, like, in the last, like, we had a rehearsal. Was it Friday? Yeah, we had a rehearsal Friday, and then we got it together to where, to where you know what they're doing a nice job with it. It's a very difficult piece, and I also I also think that if Marshall would have gotten a haircut, we probably could have gotten another piece done. I think that was a part of it too. And so there we go. So thank you. Um, but yes, but yes, give them. This is also like a big part of. Pet Man and them showing up for this really long and great season. Please give them another round of applause. For their
school choir, mobility and choir, man's choir, Miss Man's choir. Yes. Um, thank you for the correction. Um, um, there's only that was a duet. Actually, I was a duet that I also performed at district music contest my senior year with another with a, with another kid. So that song kind of adds a lot of special meaning. Um, our next two pieces, since there's only so much you can do with duets, um, um, and because I'm main, I'm going to actually join in with them. We have a like a barbershop piece and also a gospel piece. The barbershop actually requires four voices, but but we're able to kind of get it get it done. So so I hope you enjoy these next two pieces. I've enjoyed singing with these two gentlemen as well. Oh, 
and then for um, first things first, I would like to recognize the seniors that are here in their last concert. If they would stand, you could give them please a round of applause. Uh, uh, we are, we are, we are the same one tonight, but I would like to also a round of applause for Kurt also. He can be here a round of applause. <laughs> um, our last piece, go ahead and sit down. Nobody wants to see you stand anymore. Oh, no. Our last piece, this is Mars. If you were if you were at a concert last year, it's by the same guys. It's by Pulse. Um, Mars needs a little bit of explanation. He wrote this um, um, based on the Roman aspect on the god of war. Pulse, he wrote this not long after World War One, which World War One brought in uh, new and improved ways of killing each other off, including the machine gun, the tank, airplanes, um, dropping bombs, and every mustard gas. Um, um, in fact, in fact, the world got so good at it, they had to come up with rules of war afterwards. And so this piece is done, it's supposed to be somewhat of a march, um, but it is done in five and done at a little faster than a regular march tempo because of representing mechanized warfare. The end the end of it seems to drag on and on and on, kind of like me right now. Um, but the, it does, which is like the signifying that war just just seems to just drag on. Never 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 ending. It's a very dark um, work of music and is one of my favorites and I was happy that we had the right people in the right places that we could perform this again. I did this several years, several, several years ago, and I'm happy to share it again with everyone tonight.
you everybody for coming here in about five, ten minutes. We will have all the members of Dish Change Contest playing their solos. Um, um, you're welcome to stay if you would like, but other than that, thank you and have a good night. Try to stay cool.
try to go home with you. Okay, so first up, now again, um, for solos and concert etiquette, um, concert etiquette dictates that when somebody is performing, we are actively giving them our absolute fullest attention and not talking to our neighbors on our phone, stuff like that. If you want to be talking to your neighbor or on your phone, you can, you know, go out and sit in your car. It'll be fine. So, um, so, anyway, our first one up is Joel Christensen. He is a senior playing a super difficult solo called the Carnival, Carnival, called the Carnival of Venice. And actually, on the second page, it looks like a note factory exploded all over. I'm not even kidding about that. <laughs>
Next up is freshman Jackson Bay playing oh, uh, slow, the folk song Flow Gently Sweet and the Thank 
Next up, we have freshly pressed in Mulholland with the hymn, um, He Touched Me. And of course, leave it to Riley to choose freeform jazz um, as his contest piece. So, with the so soft, the silver sound, and clear. And when you ask, and yes, it is actually supposed to sound like that. So, without further ado, with the most confusing piece tonight, it'll be Riley, a senior musician and trumpet player, Riley Lisa.
Next up, we have sophomore trumpet player Zach Roach with the Calm as the Nut.
Okay, the next up is our senior percussionist, Gavin Scover, and this is actually his first year of band. And so, uh, that was really great. That was really great. He's, he did a lot. He's been really great. He's learned so much this year for not having done band before. And so I am. I'm, I'm very proud of all of these students, but also for 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 Gavin, for other region students. This is his first year out. He's learned to read. He's learned to, and he's been a really big part um, of our success this season. So this is Gavin playing a King a a uh, oh King William, a piece from the from not the Civil War, but the, the Revolutionary War. This is a Revolutionary <laughs> War piece. Yeah. So when drums were military instruments. So, so uh, we hope you. Portion. This is freshman Wyatt Deweese and God, is he a junior? Sophomore. I didn't think you were that. All right. Sophomore um, Trajan Walker. They are doing a extremely old, extremely old piece. In fact, it's out of it's out of print, so we had to buy copyright for it. Um, it is called Mexican Sunday. Because why not? Uh, uh, the, uh, the abode? 
my my last abode is what it translates to in English. So we had to go over the German, and so he worked very very hard on this, and so anyway, we hope you. Oh, ring, ring, man. 